So, so in this video, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do everything, so maybe you can scrub through this and find out where you want to find out, but uh, find out what you want to find out, but I'm going to show you how to uh, end a while loop with a phrase, um, so it'll just keep repeating and I'll take input until a certain input, then I'll stop. This is just one way to do it. There are other ways to do it, but this is what I want to do. So first, I'm going to just write out our template, public class, and I might forget some stuff, but we'll see when we compile. Public class, I'm going to call this end uh, ending or end while loop. While loop. Uh, it's a good idea. I think you guys should do this every single time. Open and close when you start a class. When you start your programs, open and close. Say end class and while loop. And then inside public static, I don't need to say this. Um, And then again, I'm having this method. I'm, I'm going to open it and close it right away. Other, like Eventually, we'll have more than one method in here. Um, this is only one method, so one little function, one little thing that does a bit of code, So, uh, or does a bit of some task. Um, all right, end method main. So in here, oh, also, I want to be able to scan stuff in because I'm going to do I'm going to end the while loop based on a phrase so I'm going to import I'm going to be able to use the scanner uh, object um, scanner and then here I'll just say system well uh, I think what I want to do first is create a while loop so I'm just going to write out the template and again as soon as you uh, create it you open it and close it right away. That's just good practice. While some condition, I don't know yet, uh, open, close, and while. Uh, and then maybe in front of the while, well, we'll see. This is, I mean, this is me thinking ahead, but I'm going to create a Boolean uh, variable. B O L E. -A. Remember, this accepts true or false. That's that's what it has in here. True or false. So a boolean is just holds values that are true or false. Um, so we're gonna say I'm gonna say keep or will continue is continue or keep going something that's true and I'm gonna assign it to true. So keep going. I'm gonna say keep going. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna initialize it. So I create it. I define it here. Declare it. I should say. And then I'll initialize it with the value true. So inside this boolean. Uh, the primitive, I guess, is the is true. So this is true. So while keep going is true. I mean, it is true. We made it true. So while keep going is true, then we can do the stuff on the inside of this while loop. So that's that's why I created this boolean uh, so I can get into my while loop. And if a certain um, phrase is typed in to this while loop, I'll change keep going to false, and then it'll stop my while loop. And that's, I mean, that's basically it. You, you could be done with this video if you understand what I just said. Um, but if not, you can keep watching. So first I'll say, uh, I'll print something to the screen. System.out.println. And I'm going to say, um, hello, this will repeat. Uh, type stop to stop. I could say anything here. It, it won't have any effect on the running of my program. This is just going to print to the screen a bunch of times. So I have that. Um, but I, after it says this, I want to be able to input something. So I'm going to use a scanner. Uh, scanner. And I'm going to call it input. And that's the normal thing that we call it. And it gets new scanner. This is how you uh, create another object. So we're creating a scanner object. And system dot in this allows us to type into the keyboard and then I want to store uh, I want to use that scanner object to store a string so I'm going to create a string uh, and I'll call it response because it's just the user responding to whatever this says so I'll say response results response oh, yeah that's how you spell it maybe um, and I'm going to say gets new 
What am I? I can't remember. Hold on. Let me look it up. I can't remember. Okay, I just looked it up. Um, it would be gets input. That's this scanner uh, object input dot next line. So it takes the next line of code or uh, from the terminal. And there we go. Hopefully this is right so far. Compile. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I create a scanner object so I can scan stuff, and then I create a string so I can store whatever is being scanned. Um, so then yes, I can I can type stuff in now if I run this. Um, but I also want to be able to stop when I type this word. So I'm going to write an if statement. If and same thing with an if. I I don't even write the condition yet. I just open it. And close it right away. I think that's what you should do as well. Uh, if, and then end if. So if, um, where I'm gonna, I want to check to see if this says stop. So the way I do that is the the string dot equals the dot equals uh, thing. So I'll say if. Uh, what am I checking? This response response dot equals. I'm checking to see what's inside response equals. Uh, I'll close that right away, and then STOP, capitals. So if response is stop, then I'm going to change this Boolean to false, because then, and then I'll, I'll read over what it says. So um, I'll say, what's the Boolean called? Keep going, uh, and I'll say gets false. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> um, First, I'll, I'll write system now. Okay, hello. So let's let's run it from the very top. So it goes and it says, okay, create a boolean called keep going, and we'll put true inside this. All right, and then it says while keep going. Well, this evaluates as true. So while true, okay, yeah, it's going to enter the while loop. Um, so because we, we made this true to begin with. If we said false to begin with, this all would never happen, and our program wouldn't do anything. Um, so this is true. It goes into the while loop and it says, hello, this will repeat. Type stop to stop. That's just instructions that I printed out to the screen. It allows you to type in something. It stores it in response. And then I check every single time. I check, uh, is the response stop? Uh, if it's not, then it's just going to get to the end of this if. So it'll say, it, um, suppose you just type in like hello. Then it'll say, is response stop and that would be no so this would evaluate as false so this will not run and it'll jump back to the end of my while and then go whoop up keep going is still true and then it'll do all this stuff over again it'll say hello this will repeat type stop to stop I'll be able to type in something and if it's not the word stop it'll skip this if and then go back again and print this out so this this will repeat over and over again if I type in stop, though, so let's run it through if I type in stop. So it'll say, hello, this will repeat, type stop to stop. It'll let me print, or I mean, uh, it'll let me type something in. It'll store it in response. Suppose I type in STOP. Then it'll say if response dot equals stop, okay? Inside response will be the word stop with capital letters. Then it'll say, okay, do whatever is inside this if. And keep going changes to false. So it changed this var variable to false and then it ended the if and then it ends the while loop and then it checks this condition but the if changed this to false so this will say while oh this is false I'm done running this while I'll skip it and then I'm done with my program and so your program will stop so let's run this and see uh, what happens see if it's correct the way I'm saying it uh, so we'll run okay hello this will repeat uh, will repeat. Hello. Hello, this will repeat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yellow. Uh, okay, so then what if I type in STOP? Nothing, because of course I need to do the capital letters. What if I do that? Nothing. STOP. Nothing. STOP. And then my program ends. It's done. It's, it's over with. So that's how you can stop a while loop with a Boolean. There's other ways to do it, but I feel like this is a, a, a good way to do it. Um, Hopefully that helps out with some of your stuff. All right, goodbye.